teachers and staff for making the night possible. But more importantly, I want to say thank you to my parents because I know without your without your guidance and knowledge and strictness, I probably wouldn't be here today. It's taken us 13 years to reach this point in our life. From the first day of kindergarten all the way up to today, it's truly surreal how fast time flies. Freshman, feel, freshman year feels like a week ago, and my first day at Washington feels like yesterday. Today is special. Today is special not just because the class of students are graduating, but because this class of seniors had to traverse through one of the most difficult years in our history in order to achieve their diploma. So would you please give them a round of applause. I've heard countless stories this year from my fellow classmates about them having to sacrifice, having to experience loss, and having to get out of their comfort zones in order to be sitting with, with us here today. And for that, I will forever be honored to be gradu graduating with you guys this year. Never have I been more proud to be a CISD student than I am today. You guys deserve to walk across that stage and grab that diploma. And I wish you all the best of luck wherever life, life takes you. Thank you and go Bulldogs. I'd also like to thank the Conroe High School Army Chair OTC again for helping us honor our state and nation. At this time, please allow me to introduce our platform guests. I ask that you hold your applause until I finish introducing each group. From the Conroe Independent School Board, Dis School District Board of Trustees, President Mr. Skeeter Hubert. First Vice President Mr. Scott Moore. Second Vice President Mrs. Teresa Wagner. Assistant Secretary, Mrs. Stacy Chase, and Trustee, Mr. Dale Inman. <laughs> From our Central Administration, Dr. Curtis Null, Superintendent, Dr. Chris Hines, Deputy Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Shelley Winkler, Assistant Superintendent for Middle Schools, this is Denise Sapolo, our coordinator of guidance and counseling, who will also be introducing our graduates tonight. <laughs> From our campus administration, representing Conroe High School, Dr. Rakasha Smith. From Oak Ridge High School, Dr. A.J. Levecki. From the Woodlands College Park High School, Dr. Mark Pearl. From the Woodlands High School, Dr. Ted Landry. And from Washington High School, Dr. John Williams. We have counselors from each campus tonight who have been instrumental in putting together tonight's ceremony. Uh, from Conroe High School, Lydia Joyner, Sherry Shire from Washington High School, Sean Matlock from Oak Ridge High School, Christina Flores from College Park High School, and Stacy Mosley from the Woodlands High School. And now, please help me welcome Alex Alexis McGinnis from Oak Ridge High School, who will deliver our student remarks. Hello. <laughs> I want to start out by recognizing everybody in this room. This year has been insane and we had to take a pause on our normal lives and shift it to one where we ma wear masks everywhere we go and have a slight fear of people coughing around us, even if it's just allergies. Even though it has been a tough year, it's been amazing to see people working together towards common goals. You gave up the end of your junior year to put other safety first. You masked up at school when we, when we were able to return. You gave up socializing with friends and family. Many of you may have worked more hours than you have ever thought you would in order to help your family get through the initial quarantine. You may have even given up toilet paper. 
Even though it seemed like all the odds were stacked against us, this moment right here makes up for it all. To me, it represents our strength as human beings and our willingness to work through any obstacles thrown our way. This year has been hard, but we did it, and now we fight for what's next. I know it may sound cheesy, but you control your future. The path that you set up for yourself now is the one that will affect so much of your life. Will we choose the path to live a life filled with success and opportunity, or will we choose one of destruction? Where we go next, whether it be college or trade school or even the military, will determine our future. We are so used to seeing familiar faces at the same schools and the same classrooms since as early as kindergarten, but now it's our choice to decide what comes next. It's a step into adulthood. It's a fresh start. For some, it may be scary, but I believe that after this year, we can get through anything and be all right. My advice to those students who are nervous about decisions like these, or don't know what to do, or even those who have everything planned out, but are just too scared to take that step out into the world. Never give up, stay on your path, and you will reach success. Don't be afraid to be yourself, and most importantly, make your own decisions. You know yourself better than anybody else. Don't let people make you question that. Everybody in this room is strong, and I know good things will come because of the determination and self-discipline it took you to be here. I applaud you for that. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for taking those extra steps to ensure your success. I know all the parents, grandparents, and siblings in this room are proud of that too. You deserve this, so go out and do great things in this world. Dream big, stay focused, and most importantly, celebrate yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Alexis. As you're well aware, graduates, there are many people to acknowledge this evening who have played important roles in your lives. Due to COVID restrictions, not all who would like to be here tonight to celebrate were able to attend, but we do want to recognize their importance. Will all of the parents of our graduates please stand and be recognized? Without your support, this day would not have been possible. We'd also like to acknowledge our many gr proud grandparents and great-grandparents who have supported these students over the years. If you're here this evening, please stand. In addition, I'd like to thank our school representatives. Uh, there may be a few of them here tonight who have worked so hard to help our students arrive at this moment. Moment. If you're a teacher or a staff member, please stand to be recognized. We'd also like to pause and remember our troops serving our nation throughout the world. There are likely loved ones and family members who cannot be here with us tonight because they are keeping us safe. We keep them in our thoughts. If you're active duty in the United States Armed Forces, a veteran from any of our armed services, or you're a graduate entering the military, please stand as we give you our thanks and appreciation for your time and dedication to our country. If you're a veteran, please stand. <laughs> Graduates, would you please rise? It is with tremendous pride that in my official capacity as the assistant, assistant superintendent for high schools with the authority vested in me by the Conroe Independent School District that I certify to you, Dr. Knoll, members of the Board of Trustees, that these students from Conroe High School, Oak Ridge High School, the Woodlands College Park High School, the Woodlands High School, and Washington High School have fulfilled the graduation and academic requirements set forth by the State of Texas and the Board of Trustees of the Conroe Independent School District and are hereby entitled to be graduated from all from with all rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Graduates, at this time, if you would please uh, come to the stage. The counselors will direct you. Uh, graduates, as you come across and you take your picture, you please take your mask off for the picture. Tori Michelle Hoffman. Yeah. 
Zoe Marissa Madsen. Carol Ann Marie Riel. Amy Jacqueline Roman Benitez. Clara Jane Hurlbut. Alexis Jade McGinnis. Cameron Ash Rogers. Jean Carlos Santiago Rivera, Clara Jane Brower, Stanley John Creel. Angela Laurent Deep. Jacqueline Eliza Lee. Grace Jane Patterson. Isabella Marie Tandy. Ellie Nicole Taylor. Sebastian Aaron Zazu. John Bryden. Guadalupe Michelle Cabrera. Alexander Brett Carlisle. Jesus Catalan. <laughs> Melissa Cedillo Romero. <laughs> Lisa Annette Gilstrap. Casey Ruth Harris. Woo! Tess Victoria LeBlanc. Woo! William Andrew Davis Lewis. <laughs> Nicole Morales. <laughs> Justin Ray Norman. <laughs> 
Corbin Lawson Payne. Alex Rodriguez. Daniel Alfredo Rodriguez Hernandez. Cassandra D. Wiseman. Graduates, congratulations on achieving this outstanding accomplishment. We wish you the best of luck in the future. At this time, please welcome Zoe Madsen from Conroe High School, who will lead the graduates in the turning of the tassels. Like the countdown at midnight on New Year's Eve, the turning of the tassel represents the changing of time. Graduates, will you please stand with me? We pass to the next graduating class at our respective schools, the legacy of pride and persistence of the class of 2020 as we turn our tassels to the future. Please join me now. <laughs> Again, congratulations, graduates, parents, guests. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, that concludes our ceremony. Safe travels home. <laughs>